Hello. Here is my Ergotron WorkFit S Dual Sit Stand Workstation, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. I just wanted to give you a little look at how it works. Um, I have a couple of options on this one uh, that I'll walk you through in a minute. One is the hinged bow, and the other is the little document tablet holder. Uh, so, as you can see, it uh, this is at the full height, and uh, I'm a pretty tall guy, uh, six foot, and it's comfortable for me. If I was much taller, I might want to buy the adapter to raise the monitors up, but as it is, it works fine. You can see my monitors aren't identical. Um, I'm debating just for being fiddly, making them identical. Uh, but it's real, it really comes out pretty well. Uh, they come out fairly even. I have this Dell and this Asus. Um, so the main thing that you're probably going to be interested in is how it looks going up and down. And I've uh, adjusted this a little bit this morning. You can see if I push down, just kind of it's a, a little bit of grab. And I'm going to adjust that in a second. I'll let you see. Um, out of the box, it, it worked pretty well with my configuration. Um, the height range, I'm this is, the camera's at eye level right now, um, and if I go all the way down, now, uh, that's at a height where when I sit in my chair with my knees in a neutral position, you know, it's just below my knee level, so that's, just about the perfect range for me when I want to get my arms down in the low neutral position while sitting I can do that but at the same time if I want to stand have my eyes slightly downward um, the uh, my hands are in a fairly good position now you can also move the monitors up and down um, you know this rotation this I haven't figured out a way I don't think there's a way to lock the rotation if you want to keep them perfectly level, but um, if we, this is, these monitors are all the way in the up position. If we want, we can also bring them down, but the range of that is somewhat limited by the uh, document holder if you have that option. Um, so there's all the way up position uh, for the monitors. And there you go. Now one thing that wasn't clear to me immediately if you look underneath the keyboard tray, you lift it up. It's got a good detent. It'll stay in that position if you want it to. I've got these two little flip things. You can flip. Sorry, I started holding my keyboard with one hand. Um, but if you flip these, it'll change the angle so that you now have a downward keyboard angle if that's what you prefer. And um, so all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with the action. Um, now, like I said, I wanted to show you what the adjustment looks like. Now, I'll know this, you see these logos on here. I ordered this from some online retailer, one of the big ones, and it uh, was fulfilled by these guys, and they put their, opened up the package before it got to me, I guess, and put their name on it. Um, not that big a deal. It's, it's in two spots. It's not too obtrusive. So you see under the lid, this is the main tension adjustment, and if you just um, put a driver of any sort on here. So you have to turn it quite a bit to get an adjustment out of it. So I've given it, you know, maybe 10 or 20 turns already. I'm going to give it a few more. Just try to get a little bit more of a neutral kind of feel. See, it has a little bit of a grab right there. And that might be unavoidable. It's certainly workable. I'm going to keep fiddling with it. But I'm definitely happy with that as it is. And I could continue to tweak it as I see fit. And that just snaps right on. Uh, my cable management job isn't perfect. Um, it has a couple of different little slots you can attach your um, tie, ties to if you want. These didn't come with it. I procured these. It came with regular zip ties. Um, the This uh, cable sleeve thing did come with it. This is fairly nice. Um, and I'm fairly 
I think I'll be able to come up with something I like. Um, as you can see down here, it has, you know, these little rubber feet. It's very sturdy. I haven't felt any um, trouble about the way the bottom of the mount. Um, if you look down here, underneath, you know, it's just like this. There's something in the instructions about being able to mount it in a slightly different orientation. And if you had a thin desk, you'd probably want to reinforce it. Mine is fine. Um, and so the other thing, obviously, you saw the document holder that I put on here. I just want to set my phone or maybe a piece of paper on there. Um, then if... Uh, but the other thing I added was the hinge bow so I can have people walk in my office and I can share. So this I'm pretty happy with. You just, you know, one finger, slide it over. Um, so now I can, you know, have someone stand next to the kid corner to me at the desk and we can have a quick discussion about what's on the screen. Um, and this rotation, you know, it's pretty free. Now I didn't give it enough play in the cables to accommodate this really, but if you wanted to be able to rotate your screens pretty freely, you could do that, and that is an advantage of not having the uh, thing locked down. Now, you can see the mount in the back. It's secured by these thumb screws. went on very easily. Um, this tightens the slide, the slide uh, horizontal position, so I can go like this, loosen it up, and just slide it to where I want. That adjustment works pretty well. Um, you can also install this either with the thumb screw up or the thumb screw down if you want to adjust the, the camber angle of the monitor. And it describes what those specific numbers are in the monitor, in the manual, if you're interested in that. It has this little uh, screw in the end to keep you from sliding your monitor off if you're pushing it from the other side. And um, I was fairly happy with the way I was able to arrange the cables for the keyboard. I put mine into my monitor. If you put, I put it goes right through the little hole. They give you a little couple of things to stick under here, and you can feed the cables through, and that works well for me. Um, you can make use of, if you watch here, go all the way to the limit of the operation and not interfere with the cables. And just go back up. Um, the uh, other thing, oh, I wanted to show you the original bow that comes with it. Since I, used to, I ordered hinge about the same time, I didn't have to install this. Um, so this would be more like the angle that you get out of the monitors. I don't know what it looks like because I never installed it. But it does come with that. Rather than this you know, piece with the hinge on it. Seems fairly sturdy. Uh, the instructions uh, were pretty good. I was able to put it together in about half an hour with the monitors on it. Um, you know, they're your typical, you know, Chinese pictogram instructions, but of a fairly good quality. Um, so only left scratching my head maybe once or twice. The uh, um, I'm sure you can download these if you want to get a better look at them. Uh, one thing that <laughs> I kind of got a laugh out of is at the end it has some uh, some tips, and one of them is breathe. So, just in case you forgot. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm fairly happy with the WorkFit S and uh, using it for a few days and it's very comfortable. Oh, one, the other thing I wanted to throw in, I totally forgot the, um, if, you know, I'm okay with this, but you know, the, the default stock keyboard tray it has this little slide out mouse tray, which I understand because it needs to be, because it needs to be reversible. Um, it's not as strong as the tray itself, um, so, you know, it doesn't feel near as solid as, as ma many keyboard trays I've worked with before. Um, you know, you can see it even kind of has a little wiggle to it. I think I'm okay with it. I'm not going to spring for the bigger, um, you know, the wide keyboard tray, but if you're heavy, kind of heavy-handed, I'm really heavy-handed and I'm okay with it. I'm just going to pop this out and show you how it reverses, but I don't know exactly how to get it out. Um, but it seems to be able to go from right to left. Um, so, you know, be aware of that. It, you know, it's not, this is, you ain't gonna bear into that, but, you know, you don't need much more than that with a 
modern laser mouse and kind of encourages you not to kind of hunch <laughs> a little bit because you know you want your body in kind of that neutral position and if you got it at a comfortable height you know you're not resting a lot of weight on your on your feel of your hand like that um, so yeah uh, fairly happy with the work for and that's uh, my overview